New Zealand bans conversion therapy. On February 15th, New Zealand's parliament passed a bill that will ban conversion therapy. The bill was introduced in August 2021, and it passed its third reading with a massive offset of 112 to 8. The bill will prohibit conversion practices that seek to change or suppress a person's sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. The Labor Party eagerly announced, quote, we promised to ban conversion practices in our 2020 election manifesto, and now we are delivering on that promise. Once implemented, the ban will criminalize conversion therapy practices. Anyone proved to conduct it on a child or a young person under the age of 18 or with impaired decision-making capacity will be subjected to three to five years imprisonment, uh, as well as a fine. In support of this new bill, Paul Hunt, Chief Human Rights Commissioner, said that they would also establish Conversion Practices Response Services Team. You know what I'm going to say? I know what you're going to say, and I'm not going to let you say it because we need good news this week. Okay, okay. I'm not going to let you rain on this parade. Mm, okay, so should I not say it then? <laughs> <laughs> we'll say it. I know what you're gonna say, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. I mean, okay, New Zealand. What the hell took you so long? Only now, <laughs> only now, it's 2022. New Zealand, welcome to the civilized world. You they're are doing you are better than most of us. You're they're doing telling, better than most of us. Okay? You're telling me, up until just recently, New Zealand was allowing conversion therapy. Up at like till 2021, conversion therapy was legal in New Zealand. You're, that's what you're telling me. Unbelievable. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. It's still but, legal in my country. Okay, well, like, I yeah, will your take country. a win. <laughs> I'll take yes. a win like this. Yeah, well, it's embarrassing to the United States as well. But okay, but it, also congratulations <laughs> for... But also, what took you so long? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you. You know, we we need good news this week. This is a okay. win. Yeah. This is a victory. This is a win. This is a victory. You know, okay. You can. But you also, can... it should have been earlier. <laughs> oh my god! It is a victory. I'm just saying it should have been earlier. I, I yeah. Up, oh, you got cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um. Okay. You know, there was a lot of impassioned speeches that were given when um, discussing this in their parliament. And um, one mm. statement, I can't remember who made it, but a lawmaker basically said, like, we can't undo what was done in the past, but we can ensure that, um, you know, going forward, as few people as possible are hurt by this practice and traumatized by it. And that if that does happen, that there are, you know, punishments that will be brought forward by the state. Um, so it's a win. Read this one. Um, at uh, there was a tweet saying, "At 16, I went through conversion therapy. It wasn't called that, but that's what it was through my church. I desperately wanted to pray the gay away, to be accepted by my family, community, and church. My illness in quote unquote weakness to temptation was etched as sin into my skin." In New Zealand, oh my God! I thought New Zealand was better than this. This exists everywhere. Okay. All right. Well, welcome. Congratulations in coming out of the dark ages, New Zealand, I guess. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you, you, it's easy for you to say that, but countries that ban this are the exception, not the rule. So how can you say coming out of the dark ages when they are the exception? Because that's our standard, okay? I refuse to adjust my standards based on what is the norm, okay? It's the world that is a problem. Not our standards, okay? Mm -hmm. If if all of a sudden the whole entire world brings back slavery and I'm like, holy crap, why do we have slavery? You could be careful. Okay. Like, hey, <laughs> well, everybody is doing it. Like, okay, well, everybody has a problem. My standards are, you know, these are the correct standards to have. I will continue to be shocked by people having conversion therapy because conversion therapy is barbaric, okay? I don't care how much of the world is doing it. Fair enough um wait really quickly perfect person is saying i'm a sad guy in the arabic world can someone link 
the Arabic Atheist Republic Arabic channel in the chat for Perfect Person so that they can find a community in, in a language that you know they're more comfortable Aww. in. Aww. Perfect okay. Person, I know it's hard to be an atheist where you are, but we have a lot of people who share your experience. So, um, yeah. Okay. Go check out the Atheist Republic Arabic channel. Okay. Al Elhad, right? Uh, Jumhuriyat al Elhad, I think. Yeah. 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 Link is in the about section in the uh, uh, yeah um, on the home page of this channel. But do you want to read this one? But uh, Horace is saying, "Let me say the obvious to piss Armin off." Armin, don't you know? Better late than never. <laughs> well, this is not gonna piss me off because I I didn't say it's not better now in New Zealand. I acknowledge it's better. Okay, but it would have also been more better if it happened earlier. Okay, this is better. Okay. Okay. So yeah, better late than never better soon than late. Um, <laughs> that's also true. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.